Hi there. Now for this question, we're being asked to find the values of sine alpha in this equation, 4 cos 2 alpha equals sine squared alpha. So to do this, what we've got to do is turn to the double angle formula. Hopefully you're familiar with this, that cosine of 2a is identical to cos squared a minus sine squared a or it's 1 minus 2 sine squared a, or 2 cos squared a minus 1. So which one of these identities would we need to use? Well, it's got to be this middle one here, cos 2a being identical to 1 minus 2 sine squared a, because it gets us into using just purely the sine of an angle. So replacing the a with alpha, what we've got is therefore 4 times 1 minus 2 sine squared alpha okay, is going to be equal to the sine squared alpha here. And now we can expand the bracket, so therefore we get 4 minus 8 sine squared alpha is going to be equal to the sine squared alpha here. And if I add 8 sine squared alpha to both sides, we end up with 4 equaling 8 sine squared alpha plus another sine squared alpha, which is 9 sine squared alpha. And if I divide both sides by 9, I end up with sine squared alpha equals 4 ninths. And then if I take the square root to both sides, we end up with sine alpha equaling the square root of 4 ninths, which will be plus or minus, don't forget that, and square rooting the 4 is 2, square rooting the 9 is 3, plus or minus 2 thirds then for sine alpha. Okay?